Tom, thank you. Now, he mentioned a lot about ice, but you probably heard the phrase, no two snowflakes are alike. Well, there's actually some truth to that. In this week's Science Says, meteorologist Corrales Ortiz shows us how snowflakes form and how it can actually influence the type of snow we may get. There's nothing quite like seeing the first snowflakes of the season. Those feathery ice crystals slowly falling from the clouds and blanketing the ground. Most of us learned at an early age that snowflakes form when water droplets merge with dust particles and freeze. When you think of snowflakes, you probably imagine them as your typical six-sided shape looking like branches. Well, here's your word of the day. That shape is known as dendrite, which means tree-like. But there are as many as 35 different snowflake shapes and combinations, such as plates, columns, needles, or prisms. A snowflake's shape can depend on a number of factors, such as temperature and humidity. For example, when temperatures are around the freezing mark or 32 degrees Fahrenheit and there's more moisture in the air, they'll form into more complex patterns like a six-sided shape or a hexagonal plate. At this temperature, they can become bigger in size as they fall since they'll stick to each other easier. That produces a heavy wet snow, you know, that perfect kind for making snowballs. And as it gets colder though, snowflakes will tend to have simpler shapes, forming more of a prism or hollow column type shape. If the air is too cold though, the flakes won't stick to each other as easy, so they'll tend to be smaller. And that's when we see more of that dry, powdery snow that's much easier to shovel. Beyond that, the reason why it's pretty much impossible for the shape of any two snowflakes to be alike is because each one is made up of different molecules. Slight variations give them their unique qualities by the time they reach the ground because each snowflake is impacted differently as it falls through the atmosphere. Whatever shape or form the snow comes in though, it's still pretty to look at as it falls. And that's what the sign says when it comes to why no two snowflakes are alike. Good stuff, Corrales. And she wants to hear all your weather-related questions, misconceptions, folklore. So if you have one, send an email to cortiz at thv11.com or reach out to her on social media. She'll always find out what the science says.